Fred Yehi is a different animal. Fred Yehi is a different beast. And McCoy, oh, anyone else involved in tonight's content, competition, I mean, everyone's going to find out about it. Look at the back of Griffin McCoy. Look at the wounds of war that already exist. It doesn't even look like Fred's been in a match here tonight. CZW Faithful letting Fred Yeha know what time it is. But here's another thing you'll notice about the Savage Wave. Freddy Aja stepped right to the center of the ring and then did not take a step backwards. He really likes to control the middle of the ring. Freddy Aja, an incredible in-ring competitor, facing off against the likes of he's Griffin McCoy. The clutch. Wait, he's, he's got the closing clutch in already! But McCoy making his way to that bottom rope early. Fred smiling. He's having a good time in there. Perhaps it is Fred Yeha's time. And Fred will again return to the center of the ring. Offering the, uh, the test of strength. Let's see if Griffin's interested. I don't know if Griffin McCoy is too interested in a test of strength. The way that Freddie AI might be. Look at that pick in the leg, single leg takedown, maintaining control of both legs, rolling through. Good mom hooked up. Freddie AI trying to shake it out. But there's no way to grab the ropes. He's in the center of the ring. He's going to have to find a way to reverse momentum. Try and roll Griffin McCoy further onto his, his shoulder blades. Griffin going to give it up. I think right there you're seeing the fact that this is the second match of Griffin's night. He, had to, he didn't have the strength to keep that move locked on. These two know each other so well. They have so much of McCoy in. And a shot to the back of Griffin McCoy. I love what we're seeing out of Fred Yehi right now. A lot of intensity. Intensity leads to domination. Domination leads to championship, Scotty. I don't know if you're aware. Very true. And right now, Fred Yeha firmly in control. Just trying to wear down Griffin McCoy. Brady Aha just looks confident in there. Like, based on just the facial expressions of Fred Aha, you couldn't tell that he's in a fight because he's in control. Might have spoke too soon. McCoy might have heard you from all the way over here, and he wanted to change things up a little bit. McCoy. Nobody works harder than Griffin McCoy. Griffin McCoy, every time he's lost to Freddie Aha, has destroyed his body, making himself better. He had to know that this was a possibility. Probably a possibility that he won. Fred's really in pain here. Wait a minute, working the arm. They try to hyperextend the elbow. Arm breaker across the shoulder. Fred Yeha maintaining wrist control there. Griffin McCoy has woken Fred up to that second level. Big scoop slam. Great strength out of Fred Yehi. Oh, right to the knuckles. Fred attacking the digits of Griffin McCoy. 
Maybe Fred saw that as a weakness. He wasn't able to keep that hold locked in, attacking the grip strength for that of Griffin McCoy. There's that confident smile once again returning to the face of Fred Yeha. Those shots having very little effect. Fred Yeha is practically toying with Griffin McCoy at this point right now, Scott. Well, Griffin's going to have to get something going because you can't let Fred release his will. And now firing back and forth. And now, I think that shot woke Fred Yeha up back to that second level. Leaving Griffin McCoy as a stain in the corner of the ring. You know, normally I would say that Rich Swan is probably watching this match very closely. But the way Rich Swan left his matchup, I just hope he's able to compete in the finals. Now the CZW faithful trying to bring Griffin McCoy back to life here. Just took one shot though from Fred Yeha to send Griffin back down to the mat. Griffin trying to shake loose those cobwebs. He knows what it means to be CZW champion. But McCoy hasn't done it before, and that's the problem. McCoy might not know what it takes to become CZW World Champion, but he's surely on a hell of a war path to get there now. But this is what Griffin McCoy wanted. When he got into this business, his goal was best of the best. But I'm sure he didn't expect to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Fred Yehi. Fred Yehi, looking to crush the dreams of Griffin McCoy. He's worked his whole life for this moment. Sometimes it's true, Scotty. Sometimes your dreams don't come true. Sometimes the bad guy wins. But Griffin McCoy, wait a minute. Off the ropes, he's going to catch him. Close line. Freddie Ahar sent to the outside. Pulls himself over the top rope to the floor. And long as blood beats through the heart of Griffin McCoy, you cannot count this man out. Bounces awkwardly off the apron, though. Fred's got a steel chair. Security. What the hell is Fred Yehi doing? Don't get in the way of Fred Yeha. But that distraction might have been what Griffin McCoy needed. Someone, dear God, call the EMTs! Yeah, through that chair! Into our guardrails! I don't care whether it's the EMTs or the National Guard. Someone needs to stop this. Well, the ref continues to count. This could end in a double count out. You'd hate to see that, unless maybe a Rich Swan. The CCW faithful chanting, hurry. They try to get back into this ring. Fred makes it in. Griffin in as well. Might be going, half and half again. Might be going for that half and half suplex, but McCoy's put many men away with that one. Will he be able to do it tonight against Fred Gay High? Drops him down into the sleeper. Great counter by McCoy. Shoulders down. The ref out of position there for a moment. Don't look for the fisherman suplex. Great counter by McCoy. Breaking the cover. Fred fights.
fights his way out. That Southern Light Suplex just did not get the job done. McCoy up to the top rope. This is your moment, kid. Griffin say it is top. Guy time up on the top rope. Flies in. Big splash. Set of the ring. Fred out at two, but just barely. Griffin needs to stay on top of Fred Yeha. Griffin McCoy can feel it. He's so close to the finals here. Just begging Fred to get back to his feet. Trying to get it in again. But Fred quickly back to the arm. It's wildly. He caught him. He caught him. Look for that sunset kick. Dodge. Great counter. Into the Koji. Koji clutch. Center of the ring. Griffin taps. Griffin taps. This is over. Advancing to the final. By submission. Fred. Red Yehan has never been defeated by Griffin McCoy, and that statement remains true here in the state.